Okay, I made it. I am live. All right. Du, du, du. See if I have any people. Okay. Oh, I'm happy to be live again. Hopefully the background noise is not too much. And um, I'm so flipping excited that I finally got the feathery couture brushes done. Um, yeah, so in this tutorial, what I'm going to do is just um, kind of go over those brushes a little bit and then show you how easy it is to make a flower like I did in my, um, my cover images. And really, it's just like three brush strokes. It's so easy. Um, but I also have a few, uh, two other um, tutorials I'm going to do, like one right after another, and kind of knock those out today. So if you happen to catch me online, that's awesome. Say hey if you want to in the chat. Um, I love to hear from you. Hopefully some of my newsletter um, friends will be able to jump on and say hey or whatever. But it's kind of last minute because, um, and it's a little tricky, I'm still what I, I need to set out a schedule so it's really easy for you guys to find me but it's been a little bit crazy um you guys might notice that i have a different background right now and that is because i am visiting my family my brother in hawaii so i have a new nephew he is seven months old and since i'm back in the states i wanted to come visit them and so now I have a different setup. So I'm in their spare room and he just uh, fixed it up a little bit so I could come and visit and do auntie things. But um, yeah, so I'm so excited. So that it's it might be a little bit tricky getting a good time that a lot of people can be um, online. But I, what I might do is just do like a few staggered throughout the day. But one thing that I wanted to tell you guys is that you can go on my profile on Behance and get notifications um, when I go live. So, and it's nice, it's actually quite unobtrusive, unobtrusive because it will like um, kind of show a red dot like in your Photoshop uh, icon at the top of the, at the top of your desktop or in your, um, you know, your Photoshop, your Creative Cloud libraries, it'll show a little, a little notification. So that could be good. But I kind of want to like do some different, um, you know, different times and see what works. But I'm in Hawaii right now, which is a little bit problematic because I find it's like kind of behind everybody. So I always feel a little bit behind. But one thing I'm gonna show today is I wanted to go through the Feathery Couture Fantasies brushes. And um, if you haven't seen them yet, they're so pretty, they're so painterly. Um, I see some of you guys are here, that's nice. So they're not just for like, you know, at first I was kind of, um, let me see here, make sure I'm not missing any chat or anything. Okay. Um, yeah, like I originally got inspired as I showed in my other live by the, by the feathery kind of, um, textures and stuff on the couture lines. And a lot of like the, the couture houses make these like, um, flowers out of feathers and that's where the starting point, but they ended up like a lot of these ended up so um, artistic, so painterly that I think that you can use them for a lot of different things. So, and the colors blend so beautifully. Like for example, this number six, I just think it's so pretty. Um, this one, I'll be doing this tutorial after this. Uh, here's the next little preview, but like, as you can see here, You've got like 11 and 12 has this kind of brush stroke quality, but it's kind of feathery as well. So they're so um, artistic. Here is like an example of a wedding invitation. Um, you know, you've got these like kind of brush strokes and just looks really nice. Um, here is some more previews. I'm trying to see if like, uh, what are my favorite ones? There were so many and actually, oh, here's one. Number 30 just looks so cool so smudgy and beautiful and what i love about these brushes is that you can do things that you can't um that you can't do like in real life so it's just so fantastical um and the brushes that i'm going to use for these this uh flower today is number 42 
number 43 and I think I used 41 so it's three brushes and um, it just makes everything so easy so let's pop into here so actually when I was doing my cover image this is the first um, flower that I did and I just used three brush strokes but I actually ended up redoing the cover and I did with this one but actually I think there's something kind of prettier about this one so I still may change up my display images um, a little bit here but you know just I, I wasn't sure if this color scheme was like bright enough or I don't know but I think that there's something really um, pretty and subtle about this and this is the one I think I use the colors from that Taylor Swift look the Oscar de la Renta dress and then I found another color scheme which I liked with this one but this shows like really good that you know like these two flowers is basically I use the same brush strokes but it can look totally different depending on how you do it so that was really cool so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna quick show you how to do a flower like that like you see on these two so let's just um, scoot this aside here and it's really just three brush strokes and what's cool is this like lets you make you know your own flower and you can use this in you know digital papers for sale you can use this um you know you can make this as a clip art and sell it you can use it for your own personal art um just whatever you want but it's yours and so you know i make these brushes because i i want to make things as easy as possible for you so the brushes are doing all the work but it's still yours you know so you know, I, I, I love to give you guys ideas. And sometimes I have people um, emailing me and messaging me saying like, oh, can I sell this because I made it based on your tutorial? And it's, you know, um, and I'm like, yes, oh my gosh, if you made it, absolutely. Like, that's why I'm doing these tutorials is to give you guys ideas. And I want you to like, that's the whole purpose of them. So if I'm giving you guys like a tutorial, um, like, hey, make these uh, crystal monograms or something, make your own and sell them or whatever you know because i know that i have a lot of uh designers that um are creating items for sale so i i actually like that is the the reason why i do what i do you know so anyway let's see here which brush did i use first on this one okay so we're going to use brush 42 of my new collection and i'm going to make like the these four petal strokes here and um, of course I created some color palettes for you guys, but don't forget, like you can create your own color palettes with, um, from images, from photos, from whatever. That's how I created those color palettes for the, um, that one inspired by the Taylor Swift look. So I create them just for Im from images and it's like, you can save so much time. If you like colors that you see from an image online, a photo, uh, an artwork even, you know, d uh, use that as your color palette. It's amazing. And the reason, um, especially with these feather brushes, using those multicolor color palettes, just give a richness to those brush strokes that you cannot just get from like a color jitter. Cause even I was playing with just using a color jitter on them and it just does not look the same. So we've got brush 42 and we're just gonna make a few brush strokes here. Like that's pretty easy. Let's zoom in a little bit. We wanna see all those details here. So let's scoot it over. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna make it a little fatter, a little thicker and just make some strokes like this. So this is how easy it is making this cool little flower shape so that's the first step super easy peasy I mean you can't miss it and then we're gonna grab brush number 43 and this one is so pretty I'm gonna hide this for a second and just preview this brush it's like so delicious and light and oh like gorgeous but let's put this back and I guess I grabbed like a color palette that was a bit more pink. So I had just sampled this from an image. And now if you are f unfamiliar with my color blending technique, I will have the link down below for you. I don't know which exactly which one I used here for these petals, but let's try this. That's good enough. 
Anyway, but I will link it down below if you're not familiar with this color blending technique because most of my the people that are probably tuning in are, so I don't need to go over it with you, but I'll have it down below in case you are new to the technique. So in between these, uh, in between the other brush strokes, I'm just gonna make some brush strokes like this. So there we go. So we've got a like similar, and you know, you can even change, grab a, a different color, like a lighter color. Let's hear. And you know, add your own little touches. Like, look at how pretty that is. And it's just a few brush strokes. Like, I cannot get over that. It's so rich. It's so pretty. Even, you know, if you wanted to add a little bit of depth, you could add some drop shadows in there, whatever. And then the last thing I did was create these, um, these little like balls on top for the, you know, for the center of the flower. And I love doing the, the flowers like this that are like very, um, what do you call it? Like, abs like they're abstract. They're not like a flower that exists in nature. It's something fantastical. Now what I might do is grab some, like a little darker color that I've um, grabbed out here. And maybe I'll create a new layer above that and set the blend mode to multiply, take the opacity down. And I kind of want to add a little dark spot here in the center so that whatever that the center things that I do that they will stand out a lot. So I'll do that and I set the opacity down and I put the blend mode to multiply just because I want to get that darker a little bit in the middle. And then I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to grab brush number 41 and I'm just going to grab one of the color palettes like um, that I had gotten from that Taylor Swift look and I'm going to make the brush size smaller. So I'm clicking my left bracket arrow and let's see here. Let me check. I'm glad some of you guys are logging in. Uh, I'm happy. Um, although I'm not seeing any, oh, you know what? I'm not seeing any comments. Maybe, no. I'm not sure if that's loading on my iPad or not, but anyway, if I'm missing any of your comments, I'll Oh, Samantha. Okay. No, my comments are working. Everybody is just watching. <laughs> hey, Samantha. Oh my gosh. I'm glad to, I'm like, okay, I'm glad that I'm not missing any comments or anything, but this was kind of last minute notice. So I don't know how many people are going to be able to log in, but anyway, so I grabbed that brush number 41 and I just made it smaller and I'm just going to make little circles here and it kind of creates lovely little depth and kind of roundness just by doing that so and then you know you've got whatever this maybe is not as pretty as my other ones but i'm not gonna really worry about it you've got the idea and yeah so that just gives you an idea of how to do that and you know you can see the other one that i've made here on the left and then here this is a little bit like a poor man's version of it but they're never they never turn out quite as good um whenever i do them like live so you know, whatever, I, I can just redo them uh, whenever I'm doing it by myself. But I will have um, the demo PSD files available for my subscribers. And then now I am going to show you guys how I did this uh, tree here, um, the Christmas tree, which is really fun. And I'm gonna actually turn off this uh live and then just start another one like one minute later or right immediately after so don't worry i'm gonna be right back but i want to be able to embed it in different things and i want them to be separate so anyway stay here i am shutting off this live um hey vicky from australia oh my gosh i wasn't sure if this is the middle of the night for on the other side of the planet or what but Actually, I think you might be back into the morning or whatever, but okay. Well, I'm shutting off this live. I'm going to shut up, put on a brand new live. So stay on, you know, stay on the page, join me on the next one because, and I'll go through this one really fast and show you how easy it is. I made that the Christmas tree with, and it's, um, using like pretty much all of the feather brushes. So it's really fun. So stay tuned. I'm shutting off my live and I am coming right back. Hey, S S McCrory from Texas. Um, okay. I'm, just jumping off and I'm coming right back on with the next demo. So stay around and I'll make sure that I go through that one really fast so that you guys can, you know,
check it out and it's not too boring or anything. So, okay, I'm shutting this one off now.